Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archery. It's our choice. Welcome to this week's choice. And our choice this week is we are actually going back up to the Yukon with McMillan River Adventures. Yep. And what a hunt it we is. We had a blast up there last fall. And yep. we, were, we were fortunate enough to be able to film Terry and Lenny Schmidt. Yep, from father, Missouri. Father and son from Missouri. And a they, lifelong dream for them to go up there and share a yes. Yukon moose hunt. And it was, oh, and being was, it the was choice, awesome to be there. And being the choice, it was really great because Lenny, the father, decided he wanted to take his with a rifle. Yep. And Terry decided to take his with his bow. That's it. And you were able to film a bunch of Terry's encounters. And you had some pretty excite, it was pretty good excitement going we on there. We had some good stuff. I mean, Joel brought that one bull in <laughs> so close. And I mean, he was right there. but. As you yell at me all the time, I'm of not going to ruin it. You guys yes, got to right. watch Let's this roll footage. roll the footage. <laughs> Joel, that paddle on your head looks ridiculous. Stay tuned, The Choice will be right back. Welcome back to The Choice. <laughs> he thinks he's Canadian. Oh yeah, hey. Did <laughs> you say hey? Yeah. So let's hear you say hey. Hey. There you go. There you go, now he's Canadian. We're back with The Choice and we're back with Terry going for his moose and it was so cool that Joel, I mean, we, we, we had those those bulls going nuts. Yeah, and you guys got really into a whole mess of encounters. So now let's see as Terry actually ends it all. The final conflict.
You know, once again, it proves how, how effective archery equipment is. That animal didn't go, what, 10 yards and down, down for the count. He shot. I mean, I guess, this, this thing is gone. I don't think he went 12 yards. He came out, Terry, Terry just drilled him. There was a, a branch in the way at first, branching the way on the vitals, and it was caught in the antlers, and once he cleared that, it was nothing but air in the way. Nothing but air. And a complete pass through, what a bull. He's just a horse. The body is just enormous on this thing. He's an old bull. What a what a great animal. Hey, well, we, someday you like Mr. Lenny and Mr. Terry, we could go and share a moose hunt together like that. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, you, mommy, and I, or maybe just or do you, 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 do you and think I. think maybe just mommy and you? No, you and I. Just mommy you and mommy. mommy. Oh. All of oh, us, huh? all of us. Okay. Well, that's one of the great things about this hunt is Terry and Lenny, father and son, did get a share of the whole hunt, and Terry yep. was actually with his dad when Lenny got his moose. So check this one out. Awesome. Thank you. 
Welcome back to the choice. Well, Lenny, you got your bowl. Let's go and recover that big guy. That's when the fun stops, just so everybody knows. Yeah, no, the fun stopped as soon as he dropped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that stand is only to get the adrenaline going. Well, we had a pretty exciting evening last night. We uh, we were coming back with the rest of Terry's bowl, which he shot the day before. And uh, on the way home, near dusk, we uh, saw this guy bedded on the bank. And we made a stalk on him and figured he was good enough. And, and then we went ahead and uh, shot him. And then we just had to field dress him and hurry up uh, to the boat because it was starting to get dark. And we made it home safely. A couple of flashlights and uh, some decent co-pilots. Terry got to watch his dad knock down a monster moose. The day before, uh, Terry knocked down his own. It's been a pretty decent trip so far. Okay, now you've seen Terry, you've seen Lenny get really close to moose. How about less, less? How close do you need a moose to get? Les, buddy, how close do you want that bull to get? Stay tuned, The Choice will be right back. Welcome back to The Choice. Now let's go with outfitter Rod McGrath from McMillan River Adventures. And we actually, I was with him, it was unbelievable to go on a stone sheep hunt with a muzzle loader, which really isn't isn't done hardly ever. You know, no. when you're going on that type and, of hunt, a I lot of people. And I saw some of that terrain. That terrain was like that. It was cool. Yeah. And we pulled it off. Couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, let's check out Rod's hunt. Oh. Oh,
<laughs> that was fun. <laughs> What's happening? If we go up and over here, and then down into that valley, and across that spine, we can come from on top of them down. Yeah. The wind seems to be blowing good across that lake, so we'll be in good shape. That terrain looked an awful lot of like Alaska, except for that it had bigger boulders. Well, here we are, we're descending down on some moose. Did I say moose? I meant sheep. For once, Rod's actually hunting sheep. Can you believe that? And so, uh, we're gonna try and close the deal on a sheep that we got just below us here. We'll check back with you soon. We're just gonna descend down and see if we can pump into them. My first stone sheep. Yeah, baby. I'm pumped. Did you see? That? What do you think of that? Woo! Yeah. That is awesome. Awesome. Oh man, what a hunt! Look at this train. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Bill. Yeah. I got a good blood trail. I didn't know how the shot was. It felt good. I have my trusty precision muzzle loader, which I fired nine rounds through yesterday so that it was sighted in weight and ready to go. And I know if you follow me, there's a heck of a nice sheep right there. And my first stone sheep ever. Thank you, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Woo! Look at that! Oh man! Look at that! Yeah! Man, can you believe this? My first stone sheep with my first muzzle loader and in line by traditions did a fabulous job. One shot went 30 yards and down he goes. Man, what a great hunt. We hope you enjoyed this week's The Choice. And once again, we hope that you, we prove to you that it doesn't matter with what you That's hunt. That's right. This week we had a bow hunter, a rifle hunter, and a muzzleloader hunter, which, by the way, Rod, congrats on that stone sheep with you the muzzleloader. You go, buddy. What a stud. No, I'm telling stop. Don't call him a stud. Arlene's got to live with that man. Sorry, Arlene. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Don't do it again. But like we said, hey, that's what the choice is all about. It's your choice of the weapon, your choice of animal, and your choice of how you want to hunt it. That's for sure. We'll never change that. That's right. So remember, we hope you make your choice. The choice. We'll see you, see next, you next week. week.